And it's made to make us believe that other people are in control. And this is true, but it's because of our own ego. So the ego is your inner voice, this inner kind of monologue, this thing that tells you that you're right, that you're always right. This is the thing that cements your beliefs inside of your head. And all of, this, all of the issues going on right now with Facebook are purely, purely based on your ego. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you one simple question. When was the last time that you sat back and questioned a single belief that you have? When was the last time? For most people, the answer is never. You get a belief in your head and you go on autopilot and you go about your day. And what you have to understand is that your ego, your beliefs, these things all fuel emotions and this is what ads are based on. They are 1000% based on the fact that you and most of us are being played as puppets by our own emotions, and they're playing into that. The reality is that you, me, most of the world, we're stuck on autopilot, and because we're on this autopilot, we expect that we could just take the hands off the steering wheel and just kinda hope for the best. So because of our beliefs, because of our ego, because of the reality that we're stuck on autopilot, we are relinquishing our control. We are giving other people control over our situation. All right, it is time to take back control by checking in with yourself and questioning your own beliefs. We are constantly relinquishing our control on a daily basis at no fault of Facebook, but purely based on our own laziness. Like think about it for a second. This is something that I'm guilty of too sometimes. How many times do we share something on Facebook, an article purely based on the headline? We never even opened up the article, but, on autopilot, we're like, huh, that sounds about right. It seems to agree with what I think. Well, I'm just gonna share it to the rest of the world. Think about that for a second. We didn't even question it because we're in this go, go, go type of mentality. And even if we do open up that article, do we skim it? Do we take the time to check the sources of that article? Is what that article saying actually true? No, but you know what, based on my beliefs, it sounds about right, so I'm going to send it to my hundreds and hundreds of Facebook friends, and the advertising companies are hoping that you have more friends that are on autopilot just like you. They're hoping that when you share it, there are other people who never question their beliefs, and chances are that you have a bunch of people on your Facebook friends list who have the exact same beliefs as you. This is how these things spread like wildfire. Like, why do you think that I always talk about mindfulness and meditation? Because it helps us slow down. It helps us have this moment of clarity where we question something and say, maybe this isn't right. Maybe this thing isn't correct. Maybe I need to take a step back and question what's being fed to me. Now, I'm not telling you to be all paranoid and become a conspiracy theory nut or anything like that, but just take a second, just one second, to step back and ask yourself this. So like I said, again, Facebook is not the problem, and watching all this testimony and all sorts of stuff and the way that Zuckerberg is getting questioned, we are trying to create a society where we can run on autopilot, and that's just not the way that we were designed as human beings. We're supposed to question things. Why do you think we get symptoms of anxiety? Why do you think we get nervous? These are the body's natural internal responses to something that might be going wrong, all right? So realize that every time you see an advertisement, every time you see an article, they are playing to your emotions. That's why clickbait exists. Think about it, your curiosity, your emotions, they are banking on the fact that this is going to incite some kind of feeling in you that makes you wanna click and makes you wanna share, all right? So. If you wanna be in control, you really need to start questioning your beliefs and checking in with your ego and saying, what is that voice inside of my head saying? And is that voice correct? Anyways, sorry for the quick rant, but it's something I had to talk about. But if you think that a lot of other people are running on autopilot and just sharing things all willy-nilly without questioning anything, like, please share this video with them so maybe they can take a step back and actually 
question their own beliefs and check in with their ego, okay? But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, my videos are usually mainly about mental health. So make sure that you click that little round subscribe button. And if you wanna check out some other videos on my channel, you can click or tap on one of those thumbnails, all right? Thanks so much for watching. Question your beliefs and I'll see you next time.